Saul, as it's known to locals, is a city with over 2,000 years of history. Today, it's one of the largest metropolitan areas in the world. Seoul is roughly half the size of New York City, but is packed with 2 million more residents, about 10 million versus New York's eight. In fact, about a quarter of all South Koreans live within the city itself. So what makes this city so special? Let's look first at its ancient past. Wander through the pathways of Folk Village and you'll find yourself in the midst of a living museum. The park is laid out as a traditional Korean village circa the 1800s. And the details of a time gone by are lovingly reproduced. From the architecture to everyday events. From festivities to ancient wedding ceremonies. The quiet village represents an era that saw Koreans developing a unique culture in spite of invasions and colonization attempts by China and Japan. In this period, most Koreans lived fairly simple lives, closely tied to the land they farmed. But not everyone lived so simply. The royal families of ancient Korea lived in grand palaces, and the Joseon dynasty built five sprawling palaces during their reign from the late 1300s to the late 1800s. And the palaces still stand within Seoul today, giving visitors a glimpse of the lives of ancient Korean royalty. With their open layouts and colorful hand-painted details, these palaces are quite different from their European counterparts. From the traditional gardening to their innovative underfloor heating, the palaces of the Joseon dynasty hold their own unique beauty and add their charm to present-day Seoul. Today, Seoul is a far cry from the ancient agrarian society that once thrived here. Seoul has become a thoroughly modern city and one of the world's financial powerhouses. South Korea has become known for its advances in production of technology, and today's Seoul is the headquarters for several large international corporations, including Samsung, Hyundai, LG, and Kia. If you want to see the tech-savvy side of Seoul, hop on the subway and head to Yongsan Station. Once there, you will find yourself in the mecca of electronics. TVs, music players, cameras, whatever electronic or technological device you are searching for, you can find it here, before it ever reaches the U.S., and usually at a great price. With the exchange rate of a thousand Korean won equaling about 90 cents, every dollar goes further in Korea. If you want a taste of the big city life, take a trip to Kwanghwamun Square, an area known for art and history, as well as being a financial center of Seoul. This area is home to the Seoul Financial Center, as well as the Seoul Museum of History, the Seoul Museum of Art, and Gyeongbok Palace. In fact, Gwanghwamun Square takes its name from the main gate to Gyeongbok Palace. This area is also a great place to grab a bite to eat, with tons of restaurants packed in among the office buildings. Another cultural center in modern-day Seoul is Insadong. Referred to by some as the heart of Seoul, Insadong offers street after street of fine dining and shopping. From high-end retailers offering authentic Korean antiques, to street carts hawking knockoffs for rock bottom prices, and everything in between. A great place to find souvenirs, or just take a stroll and enjoy the feel of the city. In the midst of all the hustle and bustle of the city, Seoul also offers some great places to relax and take time out with friends and family. The Han River, which stretches nearly a kilometer wide, 
and cuts through the middle of Seoul, creates a scenic location for many parks and walkways that stretch along it. On any given weekend, weather permitting, you'll find families, friends, and couples stretched out on blankets in the grass, riding bikes along the pathways, or playing in the fountains. You can rent a bike for around 5,000 won an hour and hit the pathways yourself. The relaxed family atmosphere makes a nice change from the pace of the busy city. Along the Han River, you can almost feel your worries and stress floating away on the breeze. Another relaxing oasis in Seoul is Yaido Park. In the middle of the banking and investment district of Yaido, and surrounded by skyscrapers, is this long, narrow strip of greenery. Yaido means Yoi Island, and like its namesake, Yaido Park is indeed a little island in the middle of the city. Offering bike and walking pathways, and abundant spots of shady grass to lay out with a good book. Yoido Park is another place that draws families and couples to enjoy nature in the midst of the city. Just a few blocks away from Yoido Park is one of the largest spiritual monuments in the world. In fact, it's the world's largest Christian church, Yoido Full Gospel. Started only 60 years ago, the church has grown rapidly in size and now includes over 1 million members. Approximately one-fourth of all churchgoers in Seoul attend its services, and each of their Sunday sermons are translated into over a dozen languages. In this city of millions, there is always something going on, and when the weather is nice, outdoor festivals abound. In the spring, arguably one of the best takes place along the Han River the Cherry Blossom Festival. One of the most welcome sights after a long winter is the beauty of the cherry blossoms, and they bloom everywhere you look. 1,400 cherry trees line a six kilometer boulevard and are visited by over two and a half million people per day during the festival. A festival is a great opportunity to indulge in quick and cheap street cart food. But you don't have to wait for a festival in Seoul. Street fair is readily available any night of the week here. An amazing assortment of food and drink are offered up ready to go. Some Korean favorites include fish cake on a stick, spicy rice tapoki, tempura, fried potato delicacies, and Korean toast, which is an egg and toast sandwich. You can find something for any mood or taste, and for just a few thousand won. If you're willing to part with a few dollars more though, Seoul is full of shopping opportunities that will surely tempt you. Coex Mall in Gangnam District of Seoul is surely every mall lover's dream. With over 270 stores, a large aquarium with over 650 species, one of the largest movie theaters in Asia, and a large bookstore with selections in English. This underground shopping complex is also a great dining option with a well-stocked food court and corridors of restaurants. Myeongdong is also an excellent choice for shopping. As Seoul's oldest outdoor market, Myeongdong continues to host over a million visitors each day. Countless stores and street vendors line the roads and create this maze of merchandise. From well-known brands to nameless street carts, the shopping opportunities are endless. After a long day, when the sun goes down, another side of Seoul emerges. Korea has a long and deeply entrenched drinking culture, and nowhere is this party lifestyle more alive than in Hongdae, a part of Seoul known for its club scene. In Hongdae, the party doesn't stop till the sun comes up, with most bars staying open till 7 a.m. 
Foreigners and locals alike flock to this area to dance the night away. And why not? 10 million people can't be wrong. This city is more than worth raising a toast to. Make sure y'all look out for baby chicken on me. Coming soon. Nada. Busy P. Yeah. Coming soon. With the hot ish. Don't try to act like you don't feel my label.